Hey guys, it's Madison. Welcome back to my channel. So, obviously last Sunday's video was like a little bit heavy. So today we're just going to do a light kind of look. And we're going to do the uh, makeup in a can type look thing. Because uh, I figured, you know, it's more creative and uh, might as well do it. So, uh, that's about it. And just let's get started in this video. So, first, I'm taking, like, inspiration from, like, actually, well, a lot of people did it, but I have, I have this picture of Nikki Tutorials right here that I'm kind of, like, referencing, um, and so, makeup in a spray bottle, obviously, she, it's like, you're spraying on it. I don't know where she got her inspiration from, but obviously, this challenge has been going around the makeup community for a while, a few months ago. So, anyway, I'm just going to start with the kind of colored portion, the um, actual makeup portion. And so, I'm just going to honestly just take and put this whole thing right here with concealer because it's more like full coverage, obviously. And I just need it to be like a complete, flat, flawless canvas right there. So, I'm going to take the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in Light. And just apply it to where the area that I want the skin color to be. So I just did like a few dots right here because this is mainly where I want it to go. And so now I'm just going to blend, baby. Let me just say that this concealer is really thick too. Like thick, okay. Like, they aren't joking around with this stuff. Okay, so honestly, this stuff is so full coverage. Like, look at this compared to, like, the rest of my face. Like, what is this? Oh, my God. I'm going to set the under eye real quick for a real one. So, I got my Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder in number 100 translucent. I'm going to smooth out the lines and the creases. I'm going to set the rest of the bottom half of this, but the top half I'm not going to set yet because I need to do my eyebrow. Wait, time for eyebrows. And I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Pencil in Taupe. And you brush my eyebrows. Y'all already see me do my eyebrows. Um, if you watched my IG story video from last Thursday. But I'm doing them again anyway. So, just brush them. Take it, and I don't really care where I lay the color because I'm just going to carve them out in a second anyway. So, April Fool's Day so far has been kind of great. Um, somebody played a trick on me that wasn't really nice. But, um, but I played tricks on two of my best friends. I played your console and I am good but he got me good back um, and I also pulled the same prank on Angela and it was really funny. Anyway now I'm carving out my brows with the same concealer. Alright so for the rest of it I if I was to do like bronzer my bronzer would only go to here anyway so you wouldn't be able to see it but blush I can do so I'm just gonna take my blush brush and my Maybelline fit me blush in 108 medium 208 medium nude and put it on this cheek like I would usually do and then I don't do highlighter until after I finish my eye look so let's get right into the eye look I'm just gonna be using the James Charles palette because it's right here. I always have it next to me. And I'm going to take the dark blue matte shade, which I think is a cola. I'm taking cola and I'm just packing it like, well, if I actually had some on my brush, that'd be nice. If I'm just packing it like this and building it up and I'm making sure to not blend it out yet. All right, now that I have that on, I'm gonna go into a little bit of single, which is the light purple matte, and I'm going to pack it right 
on top and kind of blend it out as well at the same time. Now I'm going into a little bit of Skip, which is the hot pink shade, and taking it right on top in the edge of single. Now I'm going to take a mixture of the light orange, which is 518, and B, which is the yellow color, and mix it together and lightly pull this up to the rest of the pink and then just make sure it's all blended out and even and then I'm gonna cut my crease and set it and I'll be right back all right so we got this going on right now I'm going to take a little brush a little flat brush and I'm gonna go into Cape Cod in the James Charles palette which is kind of like a bluish green shade, and I'm gonna pack it on the outer portions of the cut crease. All right, now on the same brush, but on the other side, I'm gonna go into Guac, which is the green shade, the, shim the shimmer green, and I'm put it on the center of this look, and just basically fill in the rest of the crease and then make sure it's blended together with Cape Cod that's on the sides. Okay, now I'm just gonna take ring light on my finger a little bit, just like that, and just like barely start like tapping it on the inside, just to give it like a little bit of a lighter color than it was. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of a shimmery loose white eyeshadow. This is the LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow in Snow White. I'm just gonna take it on an even smaller brush than that. Like barely take it and pop it slightly on the very center point of the halo. And then I'm gonna put on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back to finish the eyes. All right, so for the under, uh, from the, from the, for the lower lash line, I'm going to take a bit of Skip and some of 518 and B mixed together. And then I'm also going to take the light purple, which is single, and run it closer. And now, I'm going to take this Maybelline eyeliner in Sapphire. This is the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliners. Run it in my waterline really quick for the same blue that's kind of on the top up here. And now it's time for highlighter. So I'm gonna go into ring light and face, and I'm gonna take it and highlight my inner corner with it and my brow bone up here. For my face highlight, I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild highlighting powder in Blossom Glow, it looks like this, and my e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. I'm gonna just take it just take and mix these two together. And this one is a little more golden tone, by the way. And mix them together and highlight these one side of my face right now. Now I'm gonna take my CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte Lipstick in the shade 340 Current Nude. And I'm going to take it and put it on this top part of my lip right here. Right there. And a little bit right here. Woo. And with that to complete, now we're gonna move on to the actual sprayed side. Okay, so I have my little Wet n Wild paint pot in white. I'm gonna take the back side of my beauty blender that doesn't have any foundation on it, put it in the white paint, and just paint basically the rest of the this half of my face. But when I get close to this side, I'm gonna pause for a minute and then come back and show you guys what I'm doing. All right, so I got the white now. <laughs> I feel like so different than where the thing just cut off. But anyway, now I'm gonna take the other side of my powder puff and take flashback from the James Charles palette and set all of it in place. Right now I'm going back into the paint pot and I'm taking a little fan brush, but I'm doing like this and I already tested it out. And I'm taking it and putting the paint on there and then going along the edge just kind of just like stamping like that to 
get like some messy line from the kind of like spray bottle effect type thing. It's gonna be a paintbrush because it looks like a paintbrush. It looks like brush strokes. So I'm just like, woo. All right, so for the black, I can finally put the paint away. Woo. I'm gonna take this Avon Eye Rider Liquid Eyeliner in Evening Black and just go for it, I guess. So, we just gotta outline the jawline. Okay. Probably need to go up a little higher. Eyebrow time. I already got the first line of the eyebrow. I just need to do the underneath one. Yes, okay. I was so afraid of that brow. It's not that bad. Okay, I'm gonna leave it before I mess it up. But, everybody, whew, let's close out this video. All right, so this is the finished look. Um, Like the kind of like painted on, sketched and then like colored rough draft thing or whatever I'm gonna have like a paint brush like when I post this video and like for the thumbnail and everything I'll have the like an actual paintbrush not like a brush like this but like this or whatever like I just was like swoop and then like painted it and like well like this it'd be like this for the thing right here anyway and let's just say it honestly wasn't that difficult this brow over here was a little difficult but the rest was really great also, I'm sorry that this video was so long, but the more creative things that I do, the longer the videos have to be. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, kind of artsy sketch and then colored type look. And um, if you enjoyed it, leave a purple emoji down below to kind of match the eye up here. Um, and also make sure that to like this video and to subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on and follow me on Instagram at Glam by Mads and extra SF for Mads for some more things like that. I love you guys and uh, I'll see you then. Bye.